large, larger, gigantic. The wording quickly makes frequent use of superlatives when it comes to describing the world's largest and most powerful hydraulic closed die forging press at Weber Metals in Los Angeles, a subsidiary of Otto Fuchs KG. But that's not what it's really about for the producer of special and high performance products for the aerospace industry. In Today's aircraft are becoming bigger, their components are becoming larger, their geometries are becoming more complex and sophisticated, and demand a higher press force for their production. In this respect, the pull-down forging press with 540 mega newtons, or 60,000 short tons press force, is only a means to an end. And that was also the starting point for the machine producer, the SMS Group. Our most important character trait is the ability to listen. To listen to what the customer wants to produce with our product and what he aims to achieve on the market. In this case, it is in particular parts for the aerospace industry, with very high demands and very high material grades. So we had to think backwards, starting from these parts and building something around them. And that is the press that we have developed for this purpose. The new press consists not only of large parts, it is also being built in large steps. Important milestones were reached on schedule. The large castings come from foundries in Korea and, as here, Great Britain. Five ladles are cast simultaneously. A total of 34 castings and forchings with weights between 100 and 310 metric tons are required for the forging press. Despite their size, all the parts have to be machined with high precision, as here with the conical guides. The parts are shipped to Europe and Korea for further finishing on special machines. This project is a global masterpiece, also from the point of view of logistics. Behind me you can see one of the four conical guides one of the largest parts that can be produced by casting. The tie rods and compression boxes will later run through these conical guides. The four tie rods give the press its stability. These unique huge parts are forged on the open die forging press, supplied by the SMS group to the Zar Schmiede Ferklingen. They are more than 25 meters long and have a diameter of around one meter. We are pushing the limits of what is physically possible. Here, once again, size alone is not the crucial criteria. The very highest precision is also required. Here in the USA at Autofolks KG subsidiary Weber Metals, all the parts arrive on site for assembly into the largest pull-down forging press. Not too many people in the world are as capable as the SMS group to, to deliver this type of technology for this application, and um, the team has been highly engaged with SMS throughout this process to deliver a world-class uh, piece of equipment here at Weber Metals. The roughly 24-meter deep pit for the press has been excavated and is ready for the erection. The majority of the hydraulic equipment has already been installed in the pump cellar. But the next major challenge is still ahead of us. The lower crosshead that you can see here in the background is just being prepared and pre-tensioned so that it can be transported into the press pit tomorrow. Here again we are talking about four large and heavy parts that together weigh 1,200 tons. The crosshead is first raised using a mobile lifting tower. MLT, and then moved. Proactive planning and working is vital on this site. A number of parts are already in the press pit, such as the large nuts, since the space is so confined that the nuts can no longer be installed later. Small parts here weigh over 200 tons. That means that everything here is a huge challenge. Everything is ready now. 
The lower crosshead is lowered into the press pit, slowly, carefully, and precisely, accurate to a hundredth of a millimeter. Of course, that is a very unique project. Heavy pieces, heavy parts that need to be put together is a challenge, but with the team I have on site, we do a pretty good job. Done. The crosshead has been successfully lowered into its final position by the team. Right on the dot. We could only wish for customers like Otto Fuchs and a cooperation such as we have found in this project for all our projects. It is purposeful, it is constructive, and it is teamwork. The whole team is continuing to work with unabated motivation. The crosshead was just one milestone of many. We are well on schedule. Everyone involved is full of enthusiasm. 